What's up, folks? Welcome to this week's edition of Combos from the Whip, where I talk to you about all things focused and fit, and I encourage you to live unapologetically healthy. When I say that, I mean healthy mentally, spiritually, physically, so you never know what you're going to get on this channel but just know it's definitely going to feed you we are in the good big lots parking lot because i needed to get some air freshener because i left my sunroof open a couple nights ago and it poured down in my car and now my car smells like old water and that's just not a good look so yeah that's where we're having the convo today <laughs> thank you so much for joining me if you tuned in last week, I was in the middle of a downpour, but I had something pop up in my head that I just had to get out while I was stuck in my car. So if you haven't checked that video from last week, I will put a link in the description for you and I hope you enjoy it. This week, I want to talk about fitness, wellness, and your self-esteem. How many times have you had someone say to you, oh, you look good for your size, or girl, just love the skin you're in. Well, that's okay, and I'm cool with all of that. And I just have one question. When was 400 pounds ever, 200 pounds ever healthy? in a way that benefited your body? When was it ever okay for your heart to exert itself that much for your body or your body style, your body type? I do believe that at certain heights, at certain body types, there is a weight threshold that is okay, right? And that is healthy, especially when you're talking not a um, large amount of unhealthy fat on your body. But when you get to the realm of having your body do more work than it requires, that's only when things start to get very touchy and out of control. Let's just say that out of control and that starts to screw with your self-esteem when we are talking about you know healthy weight loss we're not talking about looking like you know the 1980s models out here we're talking about having your body be in working condition so that it isn't overexerting itself so that you are healthy in your cardiovascular area you're healthy in your digestive area you're healthy in your mental space your heart healthy you want to make sure that all of those parts are in working order and that they're not doing overtime that's what it means when you know we say loving the skin that you're in you always are supposed to love yourself but when it gets to a point of you know uh loving something that is harming you that's when I personally have my challenge. I want you to just ask yourself those questions. Where is it that you are loving the skin you're in and you are still hurting yourself or harming yourself um, in a way that is not good for your heart or your digestive system or your you know, entire body? Keep that in mind when it comes to building your self-esteem in a healthy way and then building your self-esteem in a unhelpful way because that is where I think a lot of people get confused and a lot of people um, start to have some discourse among uh, conversations because we are celebrating this unhealthy lifestyle and there are ways to live very healthy and still help your body to work in a way that it is not overexerting itself. You'll probably hear me say that a lot in this video. You don't ever want to overexert your body in an unhealthy way. You don't ever want to put your body under duress and strain that uh, is unhealthy, meaning you're still eating unhealthy food. You're not getting enough exercise. You're not eating, which you know, I don't play that. 
we eat around here. <laughs> you want to make sure that you are mentally telling yourself that the things that you're eating are either healthy or not healthy and you want to be honest with yourself and I think when it comes to self-esteem we look at what other people are thinking and we count on that we rely on that to help us build our self-esteem which is very backwards because self-esteem is about self yeah self-esteem is about self and how you feel about yourself and how you can do do the things that you need to do each day to build yourself up, to say positive things about yourself when you don't have anyone around you to cheer you on. You have to be your biggest cheerleader in order to boost your self-esteem. You have to be that person sometimes that is your own entire cheering section when you feel like you can't get that from your friends or family when we start to rely on what other people think it's not self-esteem anymore it's comparison it's it's weighing heavily on others it's really being dependent on others because of what they have to say about you so keep in mind that you know when you're talking about self-esteem you want to really really check yourself and make sure that you're not doing things because other people are saying you should you're doing them because you know you have information and you know that they work for you. I hope that makes sense. Um, I saw a clip from Will Smith on his Instagram page, and I'll put that link in the description as well, that talked about it. And I really believe that it's something that we all get to think about from time to time. How often do you take self-esteem and really are coming from an aspect and mindset of relying on what other people think about you and using that to determine how you take your next steps. Do you rely on other people or do you count on yourself to build yourself up, to be your biggest cheerleader, to be your cheering section when it comes to you living your absolute best life and being your absolute best self? Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe below. Make sure you turn on those notifications. You'll get the little vibrating signs around the bell. That's how you know you'll get notifications of when I post a new Combos from the Whip. And let me know what you want to chat about in the next episode. What you want me to chat about. What you want to dialogue about. Because that's what this is about. And here's another bonus question. Let me know because you know I adore Instagram. Let me know if you want me to start doing some of these combos from the whip on my IGTV. I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoy combos from the whip. Love and hugs. Bye.